All right, guys, today we're at Club Champion in Hackensack, New Jersey. We're gonna be getting a putter fitting, and this is something I've been excited for, excited for for quite some time. We've talked about it on the podcast. We said about 40% of your scoring happens on the green. So if you're gonna invest in any fitting, I think this is a great place to start, but it's new to both of us. So let's get a baseline real quick. Mike, tell us about your current putter setup. Yeah, so first and foremost, I've never been fitted for a putter, and I'm currently playing with this old ping uh, answer too, and it was just a hand-me-down, and I've been playing pretty well with it for the last two years, uh, but never put any thought into getting a putter fitted for my game, whether it's the uh, the right grip, the right shaft, shaft length, uh, you know, whatever the case may be. I have no idea, so I'm really excited to find out what putter is appropriate for my game. Yeah, and same here. I'm incredibly excited for this as well because although I feel like pretty comfortable with my putter, again, another hand-me-down, uh, Scotty Cameron, it's it's great putter. It's treated me really well, but I think there's always that room for improvement. There's always that room to learn a little bit because it's not fitted for me. I know there's going to be some improvement. So we're going to run through this process. We're going to learn as we go because this is a first time for both of us and we're going to bring you guys along so you can learn a little bit about how this works as well. So let's check it out. And then kind of, uh, we were talking about before, 40% of our strokes. So this is something that I uh, kind of is the uh, benchmark, I would say. I am to drive all that stuff. It's good to get fit, but flat stick is what matters. Oh, yeah. This is the money maker. Drive for show, putt for dumb. So uh, Sam Lab, to put it simply, it analyzes uh, all different parts of the putter, the head style, the neck, the length, uh, what we would call the toe hang of the putter whole bunch of variables. It takes what we get out of you, we put a bunch of baseline stats in there for your putter, and it uh, spits out a nice bunch of recommendations, a nice little slideshow that we'll go over after. So there's a good chance that I could be throwing my putter out after today. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. You heard it. Okay. Might need a new Scotty. I have a little one right here. There you go. Oh, thanks. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. Cool. thing with us so all of our machines are digital so as far as um, quality control when it comes to specific loft lie and stuff like that it's um it's a lot easier for us to keep tabs on an exact measurement rather than just uh, guess really at the end. So we have open, very square, and then very close as the golf ball's gone and through our motion. So what Mike's doing over there is he just got a baseline of his current stroke with his current putter setup, and they're just running through to see what, if anything, initially can be changed for, for, for improvement. So they're running through head style, um, in out, you know, angle, how he's attacking it, and just uh, kind of decompressing everything from from that first standpoint of what he's currently using. So, really, a lot of information to digest. So here I am. I think uh, things are, are looking pretty good for me, and then I look at my rotation consistency, pretty high, right? 
then we get to the overall. So I want to hear about this. So what's going on here? 43%. All right. Now, normal grip for you here recommended for Sam Putt Lab is actually whatever grip we have on there. Okay. So now, just because our consistency is up, that is why it's saying stay with the normal grip. Again, I would say biggest thing for you, a little bit less offset so we don't get that drastic close thinking that we're still open. And then other would be a little bit more toe hang than what we were working with. So I kind of want to keep you in between a 30 and a 45. All right, so all I did was hit seven putts and I found out everything I needed to know about my putting stroke right here, printed out. Jeremy's picking out some putters that he thinks might work well for my game. So let's see what he comes back with. Here's where the mad scientist goes to, to work. He's got all Mike's numbers. He's picking out the clubs for him. Here's the lineup. Got a little taste of everything for you. Look at everything. So now, cool thing is with putters especially is that I can get certain ones to do certain things. So all of these have some aspects of your putter still in them. So I kind of sprinkled some that are similar to yours. Some have different neck styles, different head types. So this is kind of when uh, I leave you to it. Okay. Feel them all out. Once we find one that works, feels good off the face in terms of our roll and our personal feel. Okay. Then I bend it for you to where we're at spec. Let you roll it again. We have our match. Perfect. Make a piece of cake. Yeah. All right. Cool. Of course, Mike's picks up the most expensive club first. Let's start at the top. Huh? <laughs> That is a lot of green, my friend. So that tells me our standard grip we have on here is absolutely perfect. So once you figure out the type of club that you need, the right shaft length, the right weight, the right grip, they'll come into this little lab here, which is pretty cool, and they will put everything together for you. I love it. What was the verdict? Pretty stellar, huh? Pretty uh, awesome. I mean, it's so enlightening it's so quick. I mean, just finding out just that little bit of just being too long is how consistently I'm too far out on the face just because my eyes are over it. I never would have known that just without going through this. face like that, which is what I needed. The results are crazy. So I just put this paper up here just to kind of explain what offset is. So put this paper up, you just see the face of the putter. The shaft line is behind the piece of paper. Yep. Put you on this one, kind of see how this paper like almost splits your shaft. There has yeah. a little bit of a piece of it. I can get it to go straight. Kind of see how it touches your shaft line. Because yep. with this one, it's well in front of it. 
this is just one of those things with that directional mess we were talking about. All right, so we've been through the paces, so let's just run it through. What do we gotta do? All right, guys. So I think uh, we've got some pretty solid choices for you. So, uh, so for Mike, we got you in a Bettinardi BB1F series, just their nice one, green grip. For you, definitely a little bit less offset, a little bit heavier putter. Okay. Absolutely fantastic. Another good choice for you would be the Toulon Madison. Now, this is a pretty similar style to one another, just a, a different maker, really, Toulon design being the Callaway byproduct. But uh, another very solid choice for you, my friend. Excellent. Now, Frank, I think we hit the nail on the uh, head for you, brother. Seriously. <laughs> ben Hardy, BB, long neck, face balance blade, limited edition. One of, uh, one of 500 you got in your hands there. But uh, this was definitely a perfect match for you, my friend. No Face doubt. balance, right offset, right length. Got you standing up a little bit more. That's the and, key to uh, these fittings, too. I mean, it, it just, it, you identify the issue and then just resolve it with the, with those small changes. So for mm -hmm. me, like, just being, just the shaft being too long, my eyes were over it. So everything was hitting out towards the toe by just by shortening that up. And then the face balance. I was, you know, the toe hang was too much on mine. I'm end up, you know, pushing them. So amazing what you learned in that, that little time frame to be able to, to make those changes. And of course, you gotta love the spec sheet. Yeah. You take this home with you. That's right. So great stuff. You know, we appreciate it. Thank you for your time. You got it, guys. Oh, oh, I, mean, I enjoyed that. it too. A lot of fun. Yeah, lot tons of fun. of fun. Really enlightening. We appreciate it. You Tell us it. a little bit more if anybody wants to come down and work with you, how they do that. All right, guys. You can hit me up on my email, jeremy at clubchampiongolf.com. I do full bag fittings, driver, putter, irons, wedges. We do it all here. Perfect fit guarantee. Let me know if you need anything, guys. Cool. Definitely Lots hit them up. Fun. Awesome. Thanks again. Ha, ha, ha.